in the name of God the Almighty, peace to you. Now I will speak about the coming Monday, the 21st of December 2020, to remind again why this date is very important. Apart from uh, it's the winter solstice day in the northern hemisphere, there will be uh, an important conjunction between Saturn and Jupiter and they will be seen it's like merged into one star in the sky uh, this phenomenon happens very rarely and according to not very uh, sure information it never happened they never came that close uh, for the last 600 or 800 years but of course these are approximate numbers we are not so sure uh, about the last time they came uh, that close to each other <clears throat> so why this date is very important people who are uh, spiritual enough who read wisdom who are always in communication uh, and alignment with the most divine power with god the almighty they know that everything goes on uh, on this earth is related to the movement of stars in the sky in the constellations uh, because these uh, that's way how orders are uh, taken uh, from the heavens into our mortal space so like the moon when uh, everybody knows how it affects the movement of the seas uh, we have a strong belief that uh, this movement uh, or this conjunction between saturn and jupiter will it's highly likely to uh, uh, cause seismic movements on earth that means there will be some earthquakes more than often uh, more often than usual and there will may be also eruption of volcanoes maybe some dormant volcanoes uh, that have that haven't been active for a while or for i don't know for a century or two or even more so uh, there are things that start to happen that we haven't seen for a while and uh, that in the physical realm and in the energy realm or the electromagnetic realm i think the the people who understand how the physical world and the shadow world exist this earth has a shadow earth or uh, energy realm, energy earth, electromagnetic, they call it scientifically the electromagnetic field of the earth, but it is actually the shadow of the earth, the energy realm. So this, the we know there's North Pole and South Pole for the physical earth we live on. However, there is also a f uh, electromagnetic or energy poles for the shadow earth that we don't see the energy realm of the earth the energy earth the energetic earth if you want to call it so uh the it has also poles that have been now uh moving uh and behaving strangely more than ever before and it's highly likely it the acceleration of flipping the poles of the electromagnetic field will uh, go in an, in an accelerated uh, rhythm what does that mean it means that uh, our atmosphere uh, will be open more and more to uh, asteroids and uh, uh, cosmic rays that are ha harmful and solar rays and all these things so we are going to experience uh things that we haven't seen before and we could get you know as i said 
uh, earthquakes, volcanoes, and uh, new natural disasters, and that will affect also the lives of all creatures on Earth, not only all human beings. Uh, so we could uh, see many species go instinct, and we could see also a huge number of deaths in the fish world and the oceans. Uh, so we are going to see a new world starting to emerge uh, after the uh, or the or in another world the beginning of uh, the real death of this world we have been living in uh, so uh, we have to be very careful those people who are not connected spiritually who are not who don't know how to hold the rope of God will be suffering too much uh, during that period of time that which will start officially uh, highly likely from the Monday 21st of December uh, we have already seen a taste of it for a year with the coronavirus many things are going to happen even far more uh, lethal so if you are not connected spiritually to the divine source you will be suffering too much if you haven't led your life uh, responsibly you are going to suffer too much if you are greedy very egocentric and very materialistic <clears throat> you will see gradually yourself losing any kind of control over your life and that will make you nuts and uh, so I am here to advise you to go you are now many of you are in quarantine state go to that corner stop playing games stop wasting your time on the internet or whatever go and sit in that corner alone and try to meditate try to pray to communicate with god the almighty not jesus not muhammad not buddha not anyone else just the source of everything get communication there you have mind that is wired since your birth to be communicating with the collective consciousness of the entire multiverse so activate it and try to gain peace within yourself and that also also that could help could be helped by fixing your relationship with others if anyone you have done harm try to fix things with them as soon as possible and try as i said to uh, get the rope of god this is the way you will feel at peace this is the way uh, you will feel powerful regardless of what's going on if the world entire world collapse outside you no longer fear death you are in a safe position you are uh, between the arms of god so you have to do this it's now more than ever it's urgent because also while this as i said this materialistic world is dying could be dying there is also openness to the spiritual realm more than ever before so if you tune your vibrations and frequencies of your mind and heart and go in alignment with the divine source not to the energy realm as i said go you have to go beyond that you have to go sincerely from a clean heart you have to do this on a, on a daily basis and the quicker the better because once monday is on is off uh, as i said start, things will start to happen things will get accelerated problem will be thrown all over the place humans are no longer in control and uh, so we have you have to hold the rope of god if you are to get saved if you are uh, not going to suffer so uh, at the same time as this materialistic world is collapsing also as i said the spiritual realm is opening for you in order to feel at peace in order to minimize the effect of what's going on on you on your loved ones and 
uh, in a way or another you will feel that uh, you will feel happiness and satisfaction and you are like uh, you know uh, starting to see the new world the beautiful world the eternal world emerging with uh, beautiful nature and all these things uh, I know many people have zero imagination they never worked it because they didn't read too much they haven't uh, been praying real prayers they don't do meditation uh, that's why you have to activate your minds you have just been using uh, the lower side of the mind that's connected to counting your money and what's coming in your bank account what's coming uh, out of your bank account and uh, how much your football club has called this month and uh, all these blah 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 things that are useless uh, now you have to understand and to identify your real self to see it to see the divine within you it's time before you lose everything and you suffer too much so uh, that's it from me today uh, uh, many people think that I'm uh, saying that the world will end will end on Monday it's not the case and any world will not end just in blink of uh, an eye it takes time as, as a procedure uh, but things will start to happen officially from heavens at that date and we could the, the, there could be an earthquake that could happen on that day or the day next or any day after that uh, you and some people will say but earthquakes have been happening for no, I'm now staying, talking about earthquakes. The, mini, the, the, the minor one will be some 7 degree on Richter. Uh, so uh, you have to understand that this world is collapsing totally. The monetary system will collapse, the economy will collapse, the agriculture will be no more. And the rich people will no longer have anything to eat other than their money, their banknotes, and their gold that they have been hoarding for themselves. So that's the end of the greed. What I am suggesting to you now is how to survive, how to uh, no longer fear death, to be at peace with yourself and to be reassured that you will be in a good place in eternity. So uh, start working on yourself, as I said, isolate yourself and dedicate all your heart and mind to God. Repent and take final and decisive decisions uh, in order, as I said, to minimize the effects of the destruction that's coming. And there's no one can, that can push it away because Unfortunately, the vast majority of the world population has have been given themselves to uh, and their souls to the dark side, and that's why we are living in a, in a world there is no injustice, there is no uh, there is no justice, there is no um, equality and uh, and rights and responsibilities, and there is no uh, there is a huge gap between the rich and the poor. Uh, there is no sanity in the number of human reproduction there is no uh, real knowledge there is no real wisdom uh, I mean for the vast majority of course uh, nobody cares to earn wisdom nobody cares to learn something for the sake of knowledge they are there just to they go to academies in order to make a name for themselves or in order to uh, you know have a good job with a high salary as i said the majority are blinded with the dollar bill and uh, i mean here an example of the dollar bill of course but uh, anyway the usa is a very uh, the, uh, the biggest example of the capitalist system that that uh, has been taking this world literally to hell and now we are starting living it so uh, as i said return 
to your spiritual side return uh, to your maker and uh, repent fix your ways and try to minimize the effects of what's coming on yourself and on your loved ones that's the message uh, peace to you all and bye for now